Now, breaking news in southeast Atlanta with a shootout between a gunman and SWAT officers. This occurring along Moreland Avenue. Joe Hankey is live where this shooting came to an end. What's the very latest, Joe? Well, Jeff, both the gunman we have learned and the driver of the truck he was in were shot by police. The shootout came to an end in the gas station parking lot behind me when Atlanta police officers took both men into custody and then took them to Grady Hospital downtown. Here, though, is how police say the shooting began. Around 1230, several Atlanta police SWAT officers in this SWAT vehicle drove along Moreland Avenue near the intersection with Memorial Drive. It appears that they were both traveling southbound. Atlanta Police Deputy Chief point. Jeff Glazier says during a routine neighborhood patrol, the driver and passenger in this truck, which now has several shattered windows, caught the attention of his officers. At some point, the, uh, the suspects made some type of gesture towards the SWAT truck. Uh, when they pulled up alongside the, uh, the suspect vehicle, they looked and they saw the suspect loading a handgun. As the two trucks continued traveling south toward Memorial, the passenger then pointed his gun at the officers. Uh, told the suspect to put the gun down. At that point, he pointed it at the SWAT officer, and the SWAT officer fired, striking the suspect. The gunfire also hit the driver of the truck, and while no officers were injured, a bullet hit their SWAT truck. Kurt Harper heard the shooting as it began. We were, we were in the shop here, and we heard a bunch of shots, and came out, and the uh, police had we're pursuing a car. I don't think they had the lights or anything on, but they came okay. out and uh, they shot the back of the car. Two guys were shot. The shooting happened near a busy intersection with a gas station, restaurants, a daycare, and several other businesses nearby. Deputy Chief Glazier, though, says the officer who shot his gun felt his life was being threatened. She's engaged with that suspect. And again, when you're talking about her SWAT officers, they're probably the most highly trained officers in the country. People in the area tonight are shaking their heads at the violence. And, you know, it's kind of crazy. You know, people, you know, don't care about the law, and, you know, this is what happens. And I'm told Atlanta police did not have any problems taking those two men into custody in the gas station parking lot. So far, police have not released information about the two men, such as their names and ages. But Atlanta police did call the GBI, who is now in charge of the investigation out here. We'll send it back to you in studio. Yeah, and that's about a mile away from the big Edgewood shopping center. So, you, I mean, you've, you've got all kinds of traffic through there and a lot of people on foot as well. Joe, thank you.